contender no that's why I was so fine with let me fight Hopkins let me fight whoever next because I wanted to prove that I was better than that guy in the finale and I, and I think Oscar realized that also that he knows that you know him and Floyd senior talk so no I, I'm, I'm just excited man because this is you know opportunities like this don't come around when you talk about the Mayweather's took you in uh, talk about how you guys got together and you know what do you mean by they took you in? When I, when I was uh, like 15 years old, it was a, a guy who was an orthopedic surgeon. I was born in Portland, Oregon. And he called, I remember calling, Ro he called Roger. He's like, this kid, you know, you got to look after this kid. He's going to he's gonna be like, he's going to be a champion. I mean, he's the best guy in Portland, you know. I mean, Oregon's not really a boxing town, but I mean, I would spar with everybody. There. Like, you got to check this kid out. So I came for the Golden Gloves and talked with Roger. He's like, yeah, the guy called me about you. And he's saying, I'm going to watch you. And then I said, I'll be back, you know, in a few years. So, you know, a couple years later, I came. I was like, you know, I'm here. And then Floyd had just, Floyd Jr. had just finished the you know, Olympics and everything. So we sparred. Like, let me, let me see spar with my next one. And, uh, you know, actually Floyd was knocking guys out. Man. And then I sparred with him, man. We had good work. And then Roger's like, man, you can fight. And I thought about moving back home because I was like, you know, I don't know how it's going to be here in Vegas. And then Floyd Jr. was the one that told me, nah, man, you got to stay here, man. I think, uh, you know, you could be champ, man. Train with my uncle and my uncles and my dad will be home soon. And that, and I slept on Roger's couch. So you Roger, literally did? They took yeah, Roger in? took me in. I slept on Roger's couch. Um, Roger got me my first apartment. You know, and then a, a few years later, uh, a couple years later, when Big Floyd came out, he was like, yeah, you know, I, I would just work with all of them. So I, I just always, pretty much, they had kind of adopted me, you know. I mean, without legally doing it, but they, I've always had a great relationship with them and the whole family. So this is from the time you're 17? 17. 17, yep. when you went to Vegas? Yep. Alone? Yep. Wow. Yep. How close to... Oscar, I think, is probably his most impressive victory was over Vargas, which was, I believe, uh, 2003. Uh, how much of Oscar is left from that? I mean, do you think he's 90% of that fighter? Do you think he's more than that? Mm, uh, it, it's hard to say because just when you think, you know, you've seen the best in the past of Oscar, he fights Mayweather. And a lot of people thought he won the fight. You know, it was a close fight. There's some people that, you know, 99% thought he lost, but he was very competitive in the fight. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I was, you know, I was impressed myself watching him tangle with, with Floyd Jr. like that. So I, I would say, you know, it's hard to say. I would say, you know, he 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 will probably be around. I think it's maybe 90%. Okay. I'm sorry for taking back to the Mayweather, but how crazy is it living with them? <laughs> you know, <laughs> right. well, yeah, what's it like being in that, that whole situation? No, nah, it's it's quite you know, amusing. It is funny, man. I mean, Roger. I mean, it, you know, and and the funny thing is, that it's something I got. I got an inside track about the whole Mayweather thing. They love each other a lot more than what people know. I mean, you know, Roger and Floyd are. They may argue amongst each other, but let you pick with Roger. Floyd's gonna jump in too. Thing, you know, so that, that's one thing, you know, I, I saw that before, you know, they're in the gym arguing with each other, and somebody else got involved, you did say that, and they both turn on them, what, <laughs> this is our problem, you know, so <laughs> it, it is wacky, man, it, it's definitely comedy, I'll tell you that. <laughs> sort of a philosophical question about yeah. Oscar. He's uh, in his mid thirties. He would say to have accomplished anything yeah. the guy could want to accomplish. He's uh, wealthy. He spits a lot of charity bag. He wants to keep him private. I think you know it's, it's I guess the love of the sport. I mean, I think the crowd and the love from the fans. You know, that's that's a that's a thing hard. You know, that's hard to get over. You know, I mean, as cigarette, you know, he kept coming back. He kept coming. I think it's it's one thing where you feel like, okay, everything else in the world is going. This is one thing that's mine. I think that's why fighters continue to, to, to come back. You come down there on the field? No, not Take yet. a look at them. No, I will. Yeah. Will, will you be able to separate yourself from being an Oscar fan like a lot of us are and the legend and what this fight means? Will you be able to separate yourself from that and the goals you'll have at hand that night once you're on the field? Absolutely. You know, somebody asked me that before, like, 
a lot of people, you know, they, they'll fight a guy like that, you know, they respect, they like, and they're in awe. Like, I mean, I like Oscar, but the way I feel about the situation is, man, it's about time I got a big fight. I mean, damn, I've been around for 12 years, man, and, you know, I've been almost there, something happens. I mean, I've, I've been wanting to fight Ricky Hatton for years. I, I, my biggest mistake the contender told me not to do was to go spar with him. Because when I spar with him, he's, you know, um, you know, because it was talk, oh, yeah, we, your name did come up when I went out there to work out with him. And then after our sparring sessions, they shut the gym, you know, a lot of people couldn't watch anymore. So, so oh, that just hurt me. So being the man that might, that will step in that ring that night and has a possibility of maybe tarnishing that way he wants to go out, it's not going to be a problem for you. Absolutely not. Well, tarnish is a cold word. That tarnish is about winning and losing. You can't tarnish somebody like that. Nor can he be tarnished. So it's not just a, just a strange word. Okay, fair enough. What's the actual weight that the first contract is? Uh, 149 plus. Okay. How concentrated are you knowing that you're going to be sticking in the ring with Oscar Law and knowing that you're going to say, you know, the biggest fight you're going to fight, the biggest payday game? Is, I mean, are you like concentrated 100%? Oh, I